Car Salesman Commissions. How much money does a car salesman actually make? Welcome to part two of the video series, How a Car Salesman Gets Paid. Hello, it's Elizabeth from the Homework Guy team. If you missed part one, we discussed how getting your name and entering it into the customer database is the number one thing a car salesman must do in order to make money. Now that he's gotten that far with you, let's talk about commissions. The more you know about how these guys get paid, the more you can watch out for traps and tricks that get you to spend more money. Let's roll. Some car dealerships and other sales-based businesses too pay a base commission of $1,000 or $1,500 a month. This can be a straight up base and sales add to the top of that, or this can be a draw in which the salesman gets an advance of money that is expected to be earned, and then that is deducted from their actual earnings when the month is over. Car salesmen can actually justify their need to hustle in order to make a living, but that doesn't justify their naughty behavior. Here are some examples of average car salesman pay. Up to $20,000 a year. A car salesman within this category of pay is considered to be severely underperforming or just not even trying to succeed. He never gets beyond the base pay and frankly won't last long at a car dealership unless there's a lot of free food there and it's hard to live on coffee, popcorn, and ice cream cones. A below average car salesman's pay is $20,000 to $35,000 a year. The car salesman that falls in this pay range comes to work every day and pretty much just does what they're told when they're told. They're still trying to figure out if car sales are right for them or honestly, if they can stomach the dirty deeds done dirt cheap. Average car salesman's pay is $35,000 to $60,000 a year. Salesmen that fall into this pay range usually have had retail sales experience and some natural sales skills like the gift of gab, people skills, and they can handle objections. Above average car salesman's pay can be $60,000 to $120,000 or more a year. That's $5,000 to $10,000 a month on average. These are your very seasoned professional, as Andy Elliott says, Car salesmen, highly trained, and they take the car sales very seriously. These individuals have normally been at one dealership for a very long time. They have built a steady flow of repeat and referral business over time. They sell by appointment now instead of chasing you down in the car lot. You see, they got a bunch of names entered into the database and their years of chasing customers down and sweating has actually paid off for them. There are very few individual car salesmen that make it beyond $120,000 a year but they are very organized. They stay in touch with their customers. They work smarter, not harder, like a real estate agent who hires his own assistant, maintains plenty of social media and public presence, gives away free stuff to keep you connected with his business, etc. They are few and far between. So are you surprised? Hmm? Did you think car salesmen were making $5,000 on every car deal that walks their way? Yeah. Well, the dealership could easily be making 5,000 to 10,000 on every deal, but you have to remember something. Even though the salesman sold you the car, he is the lowest man on the totem pole. Aww. Here's how a typical car salesman commission is figured on a car deal. Depending on the car dealership, a salesman can earn anywhere from 15% to 40% of the front end gross profit after the dealer lot pack. The lot pack is a set amount between $500 and $1,200 depending on the dealer. This money is set aside to keep the lights on at the dealership because they're losing money. Never. In my experience, the car dealership would give a spreadsheet of the used cars with their lowest possible price on the spreadsheet to the salesman. But that wasn't what they paid for them on trade-in. It was always the trade-in plus this lot pack that's not negotiable. So the dealership has already inflated the prices of used cars to their own salesman. Talk about a lack of trust and just plain stinginess. All right, if $25,000 is the agreed upon sales price of a used car, the dealer invoice is $23,250 because they paid $22,500 for the trade and they added that $750 pack to come up with $23,250. So the remaining $1,750 is considered the commissionable front and gross profit. 25% commission on $1,750 is a whopping $437.50 payable to the salesman. If the customer had agreed to the sales price of $27,500, subtract $23,250, the front end gross would have been $42.50 and the commission $1,062.50. So for the salesman, he needs you to buy a car at a markup of $5,000 over the trade in value in order to make $1,000 today. And then he'll have to wait two to three days before he gets a chance at doing that again. Depending on the pay plan, some dealers will set the front end commission at a flat 25% no matter how many cars are sold. Other dealers may set the commission rate something like this. 15% for the first five cars sold in that month, then bump it to 20% for those 10 cars sold, 25% for all 15 cars sold, 30% at 20, 40% for 25 cars sold. So the more cars you sell, 
the more money you make on all the previous deals too. Make sense? Car dealerships do this to entice you to sell more, to set a goal to reach the next percentage level. And they can do this because for new cars, the dealership is paid bonuses by the manufacturer in the exact same fashion. For example, if the dealer sells 50 new Fords, Ford sends them an extra $1,000 per vehicle. If they sell 75, the dealership earns $1,250 per vehicle. And if they sell 100 new Fords, they get $1,500 additional dollars per vehicle. That's called holdback. And that's why, if you want to buy a new vehicle, dealers are much more likely to wheel and deal with you on the price negotiations at the end of the month. But I digress. Very few car dealerships will pay any commission on the back-end profit of a car sale, which is the profit turned in the finance office. If they do, it will most likely be a very small percentage, like 5 or 10%. If the finance guy sells you inflated gap insurance and a loan at 8% interest when you're really qualified for 5%, the salesman might earn an extra $200 via the loan officer. Perhaps you can see why your salesman doesn't tell you what to expect in finance. You know, the more products, fees, and percent you pay here does pay him too, but just not as much as you think. Car dealers will sell a car for minimal or $0 profit sometimes just to get rid of a car. If your dealer gives a salesman an okay to sell the car for $0 profit or a net loss, they will still receive a commission. This is called a mini. The amount can be anywhere from $50 to $250, and it's, this is very common when selling a new car. This kind of commission comes in handy for the salesman when a dealer is trying to clear the lot of old inventory, or the salesman needs to reach that next level of car sold to be able to be paid more for all those other deals he already had that month. Believe it or not, there's actually still a lot to talk about here. So we'll talk about how dealerships rip off their own salesmen in part three of the series, how a car salesman gets paid, coming soon. Be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell and you'll receive a reminder right on your phone as soon as part three passes inspection. The entire Homework Guy team is here to represent you, the car buyer, and that's what we love to do. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you in our next video. As Kevin always says, you guys rock. I'm the amazing Elizabeth. Gotta go for now. <laughs>